Now we'll have a look at the strength indicators. This is really easy enough. You just click on one of them just now. There you see you have a choice down here of the colours which you can change. You can see that one gradually goes from light blue to dark blue. And you can change these colours to whichever you like, something more suited to your background. What you can also do is click on component and you'll see the other indicators available from the other themes installed in Carbide. Now to insert any of these you just double click on. There you go, that one's changed to that one. Which looks quite effective. Or just simply any of the other ones. And with these of course, you can change the colours down here the same to whichever colours you like. Now if you click here, it's clear. I'll go back to the original settings. If you wanted to change the colour of this one, the best thing to do would be if you select that one, hold down your shift key and select the other one. This way you can change the colours at the same time, so you have them matching. So say for instance you hover over this one, you may want to make it that colour. Then to the next one, maybe take the next one down from it. And so on. Just change them to whatever colours you like. Okay, we'll stick with this ones. Now we'll have a look at some text colours. Down here you can see this could potentially be a bit of a problem. Depends obviously on what background you're using. Now if you select there, you can change the colour of that text to anything you want to try and find something more suitable. So for instance, if you hover the mouse over there and change it to white, you'll see it shows nice and clear there, but obviously no use there. So you could try different colours, see if you find anything suitable. That's not too bad. Do the same for that one. There you see that still looks a bit difficult to read. If you do have problems finding a suitable colour for these, One of the things you can do is, if you select the whole back panel, select animate, and you've got your bottom panel here to play with. You click this here, or add layer. Then you have a few choices here. You can apply colour, which changes the colour. It's actually put a layer over the top of your background. And you can select channel blending. Now here you select channel blending. This you move a slider up and down and you'll see it controls the transparency of the colour. And if you select apply colour you have three sliders here to control whichever colour you like. Where it is just now is black all the way to your left. You move it all the way to your right. You'll have white. And obviously you can mix it in between to get whichever sort of colour you fancy. For this I'm going to just use white. Check the channel blending again. 
I just really want to make it so the text is a bit more legible. I'll leave it there. Close the window. It's like a DS to save your changes. And there you see you've got your white background. And you can go back on there. It's like both these will move shift button. Over the mouse over there, change it back to black and you'll see it's a lot easier to read. Now to have a quick look at the analog clock. You click on the clock up here. You will see all the different elements. There's the face, the border that goes around the date display. There's the face 2, which is a kind of gloss effect over the top of it. And of course you have your hour hand and your minute hand. And once you select on the face, you go to component view. And you can see you can choose from some of the clock faces from the themes installed. You can just double click on any of the ones there you fancy. want to go back to the original one, just click down here for clear. And of course with any of these you can simply adjust the colours as well to something more suitable for your theme. Just down here you could hover over there and say click maybe this brown one here. Or maybe change this one to slightly lighter brown. Same with this one up here. And just play about till you get a, an effect you quite like. That looks not too bad. Now it's a quick simple way to do your clock. To do your digital clock, just select a screen from down here that has the digital clock on it, such as this one. And if you click on one of the digits, you see you get a list of digits down here. Click on the component view. Actually, you're probably better clicking on say, one of the actual number, and you'll get a list of the different types of numbers that are inbuilt to card right. Now, if you hover your mouse over them, you'll see the name comes up with the theme. So if you like this one, it says City. If you go over a digital clock, right click on it, take content from, theme list, and then click on City. And it will import all the digital clock settings from that theme. And there we go. Sometimes you get odd effects with card bind. Just ignore that, it will come out okay. And of course once you've done that you can easily click on to select all the numbers. Like that. There you see the common colours white. 62 different parts. You can easily change that colour to anything you want by hovering your mouse over it and say select black. And then if you wait a few seconds it will change all the white to black. Right, there we go.